CES is right around the corner and here to break down all the tech trends to watch in 2024 is Gary Shapiro, He's the CEO of the Consumer Technology Association. So Gary, what headlines can investors expect to come out of this year's CES? Well, CES is the global showcase for innovation. And what we're going to see is probably more innovation than any prior CES show. We've seen that in our innovations entries, which are up 40%. We've seen that in our pre-registration, which is high. We see it in the number of exhibitors we have, and the, and even the footprint of the show itself is up in double digits over last year. Um, and of course, the overriding area what's changed in, in just about a year now is generative artificial intelligence. AI will be pervasive throughout the show. And the way the companies plan to use it in many different categories and many different vertical industries, if you will, because that's what CES is. It's not really just about one category of audio, video, entertainment, or games. It's about mobility. It's about healthcare. It's about agriculture and food technology, transportation, and so many more. So we're going to see it all across different categories. And we're going to see amazing products with 3,500 exhibitors. We project about 130,000 people will come from around the world, uh, one third of them from outside the United States, government leaders, uh, CEOs. We probably have more CEOs, uh, major companies speaking than any prior show. We'll have close to a thousand different speakers, uh, many featured speakers in different categories of products, uh, Fortune 50 CEOs. So it's going to be an amazing event. And as you mentioned, uh, all the buzz is around artificial intelligence. There's been a lot of bullishness in the tech sector over this new technology. And what are you seeing as the storyline then with AI trends this year? As you mentioned, it's not just chips. There's this whole ecosystem that's being built around this groundbreaking tech. Well, of course, a lot of um, generative AI is about what you can do with it. It's uh, software, it's programming, it's asking the right questions. It's it's helping companies get into the business and do it. It affects every company that's doing business in a white collar environment, but it also obviously affects the factory floor. It affects how things get done, what you spend time on, the jobs of the future, what are being created. And another big focus of the conference has been automobile technology. And as we kind of see this continuing evolution of what cars can do and the role they play in consumers' lives, how do you see the applications of this technology moving forward? When you say this technology, uh, whether it's mobility or you mean artificial intelligence, um, certainly artificial intelligence is the basis of a self-driving car, for example, but it's the basis of a lot of other things as well. And it's just not about cars. I mean, one of our keynotes is a shipbuilder, and I'll be talking about what they're doing with AI, uh, you know, one of the largest shipbuilders in the world from Korea, uh, HD Hyundai. And, and we'll also, but we'll also have a flying car. Uh, company at CES. And of course, we'll have a lot of the major car companies and the tier one suppliers from around the world there. The the, um, the footprint of the new hall there is so big and there's so many companies coming. We we had to spill over into other areas with our mobility section. And we don't call, we can't call cars anymore because it's not only that, but vehicles, when you talk about Caterpillar and John Deere and the competitors, I mean, is that mobility or is that agriculture technology? I haven't quite figured that out. But the point is, is that people are coming to CES, the companies that are coming, they're coming because they want to see the innovation that's out there. They want to partner. They want to see the developments and they want to be inspired and they will be certainly. And then there's the, the cool thing that most people love to go to because it is so exciting and it gives you hope for the future is Eureka Park, where we'll have over a thousand startups from around the world. These are people literally starting their homes and they have an idea and they want to expose it. Uh, and, it, and it's great. And a lot of the country pavilions, there'll be at least 15 different country pavilions that are talking about what's going on in their countries. So it, it's the big companies with the big exhibits and the, you know, the broad array of products that you would expect, whether it's, uh, you know, Qualcomm or LG or Samsung, Sony, uh, so many of the huge exhibits. But then, as we call, they're not even traditional companies that you'd expect to see. So we keep getting more and more of those. In fact, we have several hundred new exhibitors that were not there last year. Wow, that's incredible. And Gary, I'm just curious, what are you most excited to see this year? Well, you know, we have this deal with the United Nations that's, that's expanded. And there were seven human securities that we focused on at our 2023 January event in Las Vegas. You know, the right to, to food, not to right not to be hungry, the right to clean air, clean water, the right to health care. Well, a couple of months ago, I was at the United Nations opening of the General Assembly, and they added one new right with us that we had suggested, and that is the right to access technology. Because technology is so much essential to getting all those other rights 
and involving it. That, that I think when it comes right down to it, these big problems that we grapple with, um, I was sitting with a member of Congress on the plane, and we we're talking about the fact that technology is going to solve what legislation can't, basically. And that's going to make our lives better and our kids' lives better for the future. And that's what we'll see at CES. Well, Gary, thanks so much for all the updates on this year's conference. Thank you. And I'll see you in Las Vegas.